little town, uh, a monastic town. The the ancient history of the, if you like, from the history from the time that the stories were written down, is all got to do with monasticism, and both then and now because you have the Cistercians here. It's on one of the great highways of Ireland, uh, and it is really a mystical uh, town, full of interest. Very friendly and always happy, and they come in here with their complaints and talk to you, and, which is lovely. A lot of nightlife now. No nightlife. The hotels, the hotels, all down there's nothing. You know, nothing for young people here. In the last five years, this town has been so badly hit by the recession. Shop after shop has closed, and of course, which gives you the snowball effect of a decline of an Irish town. How many small towns like, like Ross Grey have such a treasure right in the heart of the community? It should be alive with activity. There should be flags flying, there should be, it, it, it should be the honeypot that would draw many, many visitors to the area. For having no name, hear the nightingale crying in shame, love in shame. The castle here. Yeah. That was over the bounds. I was at a bound, you weren't allowed. There was a technical school there. Would you believe it? I was never inside that castle. I was inside the big Dedamer house, all right. I went to school there. There was a school there years ago. Uh, but I was never, I'm never in the castle. Everybody was in it died. Oh dear. Or they got ill health like myself. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. What, at the castle? Mm -hmm. Not here. And I said to the one that worked on Monday, I said, Johnny, what do you think of this place? He says, Gretty B says, but you know, we never have looked. He says, we're walking around and dead, dead bodies. A lot of the people who were killed over 100, 800 years ago. It's just known that maybe people would have seen ghosts in there or maybe heard things or, you know, even at night time, like if you're staying in it, you'd hear things or, like again, whether it's true or not now, I don't know. Um, we hear them, we, do, we tend to hear them, I suppose, at night time a lot. Um, no, it's, it's not that it's just a night time thing, it's, it's, um, I suppose it's so quiet when we lock up here at night. It was um, um, an Irish clan, it was a main strong called the clan, so you can imagine there was many killings there. Um, up in the chapel there was a huge amount, and of course the, the oubliettes, um, there was a huge amount of... In 1932 they took out three horse cartloads of human bones out of that. The oubliette was a, a French name for um, drop flowers, or uh, When you walked into the room, um, it was an empty, you walked on and you dropped onto spikes, sort of thing. I think it's, it's, great, uh, it's great hope is in its heritage and proper displaying of its heritage. I mean, where else would you get in a small, uh, in a, in a small town? Uh, a 13th century castle, a townhouse, early 18th century, a round tower, a, 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 a monastery, a Franciscan friary. On one side of it then you have the 31st wonder of the world and on the other side you have a modern Cistercian uh, abbey. So there is hope for the for the future. Ross Grey was always a, a good town. It has the ability, I think, or it, it, you know, to develop as really one of, of Ireland's strong heritage towns. Yes, no, there's no shame, there's no shame. Hear the night.